Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. If you are new, welcome. My name is Hannah and in today's video we're going to be decorating with five essential home decor items five different ways. So if this is something you're interested in watching, please feel free to keep watching. And if you're not already following me on Instagram, I would love to have you over at Hannah Naylor. Without further ado, let's get into this video. So like I stated in my intro, I'm going to showcase five home decor essential items and how I style them five different ways. Now here on my channel, I'm constantly trying to think of different content ideas for you guys. This idea just kind of like came up randomly. I'm like, this could be something that will be relevant to every single person that watches this video. We are taking five different items and we're going to showcase how we style them five different ways. I feel sometimes we think we need to go out and buy new stuff in order for our homes to feel fresh which we are all guilty of. I am too. I love shopping. I'm everything for home decor, but we can take one simple item. We can style it multiple ways in our homes. We can move it in a different space. We can style it with different items in order for it to feel fresh. So that is exactly what I want to showcase in today's video. And yeah, without further ado, let's get into this video. So the very first home decor item on this list of essentials is a candle. I love candles. I burn them constantly here in my home. I think they bring not only this beautiful scent about them, they're gonna bring that aroma in your space, but they're also gonna provide that ambiance with the flame factor. We all love them and there's many ways to style with them, including the first one, which is a candle cloche. Now, if you've not heard of one, I picked one up at Hobby Lobby in a random trip that I went one day. I found it in their candle section and it's a really cool way on styling your candle. Now, one thing about it is it's gonna give it like a dip teak moment where it's gonna make it feel a little bit more luxurious than just having a candle sitting. And another thing that's really great about a candle cloche is if you are a mommy and you like having candles burning in your home but worried about little fingers getting anywhere near them, this candle cloche kind of prevents that from happening. It still has a very small opening at the top so that way your candle can be on and breathe. It's going to prevent little fingers from getting down into the candle. So this would be really great for, you know, my mommies that watch my channel, but you're going to make your, your candle look a little bit more elevated and it's going to be a really great factor for those of mommies that want to have burning candles in their home without their kids getting a hold of it. Another really fun way on styling your candles is doing two candles of different sizes. So in my example, I have a Casa Luna small one and I have a Casa Luna large candle. I have them styled on a tray with a pair of wick trimmers. They are the same scent, they are in the same vessel. So essentially they are the same candle and you burn them simultaneously. It's really simple, really easy to do, and I think it just is a little bit unexpected than we usually see. So that is another really fun way to style your candles. Styling your candles in a low profile bowl is also a really fun way to style them. Now you can put your candle, place it in the center of your bowl and then trickle different elements around it. Now my example, I did a bunch of like quartz crystals and, and little shards of geode crystals because that is something that I really enjoy here in my home. I love crystals if you guys haven't figured that out already. So I thought it'd be cool to just had them trickled around the candle to like make it feel a little bit more elevated. So whatever you like, you could always trickle that around there just as a way to add a little bit of an extra touch. So that is another way to style your candles. I've actually seen a lot of you guys replicate this next style by utilizing the marble brush dish that I found on Amazon. Now I picked this up a few years ago and what it is, it's a brush dish. It's a little dish that you place your brush. It's actually supposed to live next to your sink and I have never used it for that purpose. I love styling with this for my candles. I think it is really fun because it's got a little bit of a handle on it. It's bringing a luxe material like marble and it's adding another layer to your space. So I'm all about layering when it comes to styling and I think having some sort of dish to ground your candle is really really fun. Also within my example I have a little new black terracotta dish that I found at a shop here in San Diego as another way to style my candles. I just love these. They're small, they're dainty, they just add another little layering piece and really fun to style with so that is another really fun way to style. The very last way on styling a candle is your coffee books. This is such a simple thing to do. This is not, you know, a crazy original idea. I do it here all the time in my home, but simply just placing your candle of choice on a stack of coffee table books, maybe with your match cloche or your matches, a wick trimmer and a snuffer, just having all the accessories paired with it make for a really beautiful style. So that's something really simple and easy to do. And the next essential home decor item is a vase. I love vases. If you have been with me a while, I I've got 
a very large collection of them. This is kind of my kryptonite. I, I have a very weak spot for finding cool new vases and vessels to style here in my home, but there are multiple ways we can use these. And you probably are thinking, how other ways can you style a vase without just having it you know, with florals in it? So the first way to style a vase is doing it as a lamp. This is such a fun idea, something really simple to do. All you need to do is take your vase of choice, a lampshade of choice, and a rechargeable light bulb and place it in there. And I'm telling you guys, this makes for a really fun style. You're going to get that look for a lot less money depending on the vase that you find. I just kind of threw this together. I kind of, you know, jimmy rigged it a little bit. You guys will see in my example, but I'm actually really pleased with how this little tiny kitchen vase lamp came to be about. So don't be afraid to maybe, you know, think outside the box, take a vase that you have and pop a, pop a shade on it and make it into a lamp. So that's one really fun way to style a vase. Swap out your normal kitchen crock for a vase. Vases, I feel like have a lot more texture. They have a lot more visual interest than like your standard, you know, utensil crock you buy at Target. So get creative. Maybe you find something at an antique shop or a vintage shop and make it into a crock. Super simple. Throw all your utensils in there, place it next to your stove, and there you have it, a really fun and unique utensil crock to have your stuff in. This next way to style your vase is a no-brainer, and that is, of course, popping stems in it. I love stems. I think placing them in different vases makes such a huge difference when it comes to styling your home. You're not only gonna get the height factor through bringing a stem in, you're gonna get that texture and of course color, depending on the time of season that you are styling your home. They always look different. No matter what stem you put in them, they're always gonna look a little bit different. Move them throughout your house, place different stems in them. It is essential for home decor styling. So of course, tip number three on styling a vase is throwing some florals in it. Style number four for your vase is nothing, nothing in it. You don't always need to have something in your vase in order for it to feel complete. I have obviously one behind me with stems in it and right next to it is one without. So don't be afraid to not put anything in it. Let it have its moment. These are great for styling on like open shelving. So if you have, you know, multiple vases, you obviously don't wanna have every single vase with stuff in it. So sometimes letting it just breathe and be on its own is actually a very beautiful style as well. So simply not having anything in it is a great Great way to style your vase. So the last way to style your vase is gonna be a little bit outside the box and this idea came from TikTok. I'm not going to take credit for this. This came up on my TikTok feed and I thought it was pretty clever for the person that came up with it. I will try to find the person on this original video. Simply they took a vase and then they threw their Kleenex in it. Now I'm not one that has Kleenex styled in my home. I don't even own Kleenex. I, own, <laughs> I actually picked up Kleenex just for this example, but simply rolling up some Kleenex and putting it in a vase is a really cool way to style it so it's not just in those ugly cardboard containers. So get creative, find a vase. I use the Target vase and threw some Kleenex in there and just have it as a fun way to have your Kleenex in a bathroom. So that is the next way to style your vase for this video. The next essential home decor item I feel is going to be in every single person's home decor toolbox, and that is coffee table books. These are essential when it comes to decorating your space. They add so much layer, they add visual interest. They not only are going to give you that, but they're also going to reflect what it is that you are into. It's a, it's a conversational starter. I love coffee table books and I will constantly forever use them in my home, but there are multiple ways to style with them. Let's start with the first one, which is a magazine holder. Now my example, I have two different types. I have a, a black one from Kirkland's, which is a just simple black wood magazine holder, again from Kirkland's. And then the second one I have is a beautiful marble one that I got from Pottery Barn a while back. This is just a really elevated way on styling a coffee table book. It allows for the book to be open, which is going to encourage people to maybe sift through the pages. It's just really tasteful and a classy way on styling your coffee table books. Now, the second way to style your coffee table books is your cooking book stand. I'm sure a lot of people are gonna go like, what, it's for cooking books. Not necessarily, who says it just has to be used for your cooking books. It doesn't have to be just for that. So get creative. In my example, I showed, actually showcase it in like a sideboard styling where you have the book open and standing upright. So it's going to add height to a style. It's going to add 
almost as if it's a picture frame because it is upright. It's a really cool and interesting way on styling with it. So don't be afraid to utilize a cooking book stand or even an easel for that matter. So that's another way to style your coffee table books. Having your books standing upright is also a really cool way because you're gonna have the height factor in a style, but you're also going to bring another element in, which is your bookends. Your bookends could be wood, they could be marble. You're gonna bring in a different type of material, which is also very visually interesting when it comes to styling styling them. I love a styling with the coffee table books upright because again, you're going to add height. You never want your style to just be super flat. So having that different height factor in a style is really, really important. And you can have multiple of them. You can have a stack of three, you can have a stack of five, depending on how many you have. It's a really cool and interesting way on styling. Now, another way to decorate your coffee table books, which is not something I typically push for people to do, but we all have those, those books that maybe have too much going on in the spine. Maybe they're bright colored or there's, they're just too busy. They just don't mesh well with what we're trying to do. Simply just turning them around and having the pages face outwards versus the spine is a really easy way to take care of that problem. Still have your coffee books you know, on display, but just in a different way. It's a little bit different. It's a little bit more visually appealing to the eye, especially, like I said, if there's too much going on, this is a really easy fix on how to make that change. The last way on styling your coffee table books is super easy and a no brainer. And that is just having some sort of decor element on top of it. This is kind of the cherry on the cake. This is the last piece of your puzzle. I think this is really fun because then it starts showing originality and it's showing what that person is into, whether they're in a beach coastal home and they have a beautiful seashell on top or maybe if you are like me and into you know anything equestrian i have a little horse topper on top of one of my books i think this is a way that we can get to know that person and see what they are into so pick something that resonates with you maybe something you are into it's just that little thing that goes on top of your coffee table books that just adds another layer and a really beautiful element to any style so that's the last way to style your coffee table books Trays are the next huge element here to style with, and there's a lot of really great ways to style these. Now, I love styling them in my kitchen. Even if you don't have a kitchen island and you are in an apartment, these are great for grounding your space next to like your kitchen stove, having your utensil crock, your oil decanter, your little pinch dish. They just ground a space and they corral everything together so it feels a little bit more cohesive, it feels a little bit more neat. I love styling trays in my kitchen. Similar to the kitchen, we are shifting to our coffee table. This is gonna be another area that a tray really shines because it just corrals all of those different elements that we have there on our coffee table. Whether that's books, coasters for your drinks, a beautiful vase with some stems in it, a candle. This is just gonna make it feel a little bit more neat and put together. Really do play with the textures that you have. So I, like in my example, I love the juxtaposition between the marble coffee table I have and then bringing in a wicker element. So really play with the dimension and the contrast between the two materials. I think trays are great, they're super inexpensive and you can pick them practically up anywhere. So that's the next way you can style your trays. Next, let's go to the bedroom. Let's bring your trays to the bedroom and this could be a really fun way to style maybe your perfumes, your, you know, your different facial products. This could also be a tray that you can place on your nightstand next to your bedside for your jewelry or even your place to put your water. You don't have to just have your tray in your living space area. This could be in an area like a bedroom or even a bathroom you know, vanity. So get creative on styling your everyday elements like your facial product, your perfumes, your essential hair products. Bring a tray to it, style it in that way and just elevate it that much more. So that's another really fun way on styling your tray. So the next place that you can decorate with a tray is a coffee bar area. So maybe you have a coffee bar or maybe even a coffee bar cart. A tray is gonna be really great, again, playing off of the kitchen, playing off the coffee table. It corrals those items. It makes it just feel a little bit more formal, more put together, nice and organized. So this would be a great space to have your coffee pods, maybe your coffee essentials, like your creamers, your sugars, honey, whatever you enjoy when it comes to your coffee or tea area. A tray is really, really essential when it comes to styling this space. Now this last way to style a tray is a little bit outside the box thinking, and it really does depend on the tray that you have, and that's utilizing it as a cutting board layer. So depending again how the tray looks, how wide it is, how big it is, if it can lean up against a 
backsplash. I think layering different trays onto a backsplash is another really interesting and fun way to style. Within my example, I used the marble tray that I got from Amazon. It was a little bit unexpected and I actually really liked how this turned out. So don't be afraid to style your trays on your backsplash. The last and final essential home decor item on ways to style is a pedestal bowl. These are a staple when it comes to your toolbox. There are so many different ways, even outside of my five styling tips. They're just great. I love pedestal bowls. So the first way to style them is in your kitchen. Use them as a way to house your fruits, your vegetables. That's how I have ours. It's a great way to just have my fruit presented in a beautiful way because it obviously has to live on my countertops. So bring a beautiful pedestal bowl to your countertops for your fruits and vegetables. Bowl filler. Simply putting bowl filler in a pedestal bowl is a really beautiful way to style these. You can put wooden spheres, you can put lemons, you can put, you know, whatever potpourri, whatever you are into is a great way to style your pedestal bowl. Put them on a sideboard or a console table. It's just going to add another little layer to your styling moment. So that's another really beautiful way to style your pedestal bowl. An unexpected way on styling these bowls is in a bathroom. Simply putting some beautiful hand soaps in it, maybe in a guest bathroom. You could even put rolled towels. You could really elevate this particular space, adding some beautiful hand soaps, maybe some rolled towels, some maybe sea sponges, whatever you want for your bathroom space, I think it's going to make it feel that much more luxe and spa-like. So that's another really fun way on styling your bowls. Utilizing a pedestal bowl as a catch-all is really, really great too. So we have a drop station where we come in through the day, we throw our stuff down, we throw our keys in this bowl, and it, it still acts as a decor element in this space, even though it's a place that we typically just drop our stuff down and not worry about it. So I think utilizing a really beautiful pedestal bowl will be a great way to have your keys in a certain space. You don't have to hang them on the wall. They're just in the bowl. They act as a decor element, and it's really pretty simple and easy. So the last way on styling a pedestal bowl is as is. Leave it alone, like a vase, sometimes you don't always need something in it. Depending on where you have your bowl in your home, if it's open shelving, on a coffee table, on a sideboard, sometimes we don't always need something in it. So, so don't be afraid to just leave it as is and have it be a standalone moment. So that is the very last home decor essential items styled five different ways. All right, you guys, and that is it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed this styling five essential home decor items five different ways. Don't be afraid to think outside the box. We don't always need to run to Target and Home Goods to buy something new. Simply just styling it different, moving it throughout our home is going to make your space feel that much more fresh and inviting. So I hope you guys enjoy. Sound off in the comments down below. And until next time, I love you so much. Thank you for being here and we'll see you in my next video. Peace. Thank you.